and welcome. Let's talk about planning for growth and building a 10x organization. You know, I always say that you need to think big, plan big, but start small. Now, the 10x rule has been around for a very long time, and no one has put it in more simple terms than Grant Cardone. So, the concept of building a 10x organization is that you plan for 10 times what is now. If you sell 100,000 in product or services, imagine selling 1 million. If you sell 1 million, plan for 10 million. If you produce 1,000 pieces, plan for 10,000 pieces. And here's why it is so important to plan big. With the advent of the internet and social media and other things that are out there, things happen very quickly. And when your product or service catches on, that can make all the difference in the world. But if you're not planning for growth and you launch your product or service and someone else who is planning for growth sees it, they can knock it off, possibly make it better, and they are going to run with it. So you don't want to be a victim of waiting too long to get your product or service out there. But you also don't want to be a victim of growing too fast. Let me share with you what I mean. I meet so many entrepreneurs that say, I can't wait to get into Walmart. Okay, let's think about getting into Walmart. Here are a couple of things. Walmart, first of all, even if they test you, it still could be a million, two million dollars worth of orders. Walmart also buys a, such a mass amount of goods and they pass on the savings to their customers that you may be making a good and making it for $10 and you right now sell it online or sell it for $40. Well, Walmart wants to make sure it's sold for $19.99. How much margin are you gonna make? Also, Walmart is extremely, extremely particular about the factories they use and the factories that provide goods because they want to make sure that every single thing on their checklist can comply. You may be using a small factory that may have gluten contamination in it or whatever it is. And you definitely don't want to give terms to somebody like Walmart if you can't give them a 30, 60, 90 days. Unlike selling to a specialty store or selling direct to your customer, Walmart has terms. Do you have enough money to provide all of that to Walmart? And God forbid, because you know the first and second and third and fourth time that you uh, make your product, it's not always perfect. God forbid you send Walmart a product that's not perfect, a million and a half dollars. When that stuff shows back up at your garage because they won't accept it, now you have a million and a half dollars of bad inventory. So you have to make sure you can prepare for growth. You do not go when you're trying to learn how to play blackjack. You don't go with the thousand dollar a hand table first. You start off at the nickel table. You start off at the five dollar table, maybe the ten dollar table. Walmart and brands and companies like that, that's the thousand dollar a hand table. So you have to make sure that you can prepare for growth. You wanna make sure you scale within reason by taking affordable steps and by planning for growth. By building a 10X organization, you ensure that when your business explodes, that the demand doesn't exceed what you can supply. Let me share with you how I learned this the hard way back at the start of FUBU. Now, when you're planning for growth, you know, you don't want to go out and take a position where all of a sudden, bang, you get so many orders or the request for so many things and you don't have a backup plan on how you're going to manufacture or provide it. When I went out to the Magic Trade Show in, uh, I believe it was 1994, 1995, I received $300,000 worth of orders. I go back home and go, wait a minute, I have to make $300,000 worth of orders. Alibaba didn't exist, the internet didn't exist, I didn't really know where to go for manufacturing. I go out, I didn't have an understanding on how to you know, really lay out a financial plan, so when I go over to the banks and talk to the loan officers and give them my loans, I, loan requests, I got turned down by 27 banks. Now all of a sudden I come home and my mother and I decide that we're gonna 
take a gamble. We're going to mortgage our home. And I'm not going to suggest to anybody that you do this. But I go ahead and do this. And we take all the furniture in my house and we sell whatever we can, burn whatever else we can. And we move a bunch of industrial sewing machines in the house, hire a bunch of seamstresses. And we start to sew the clothes. But meanwhile, I'm looking for other people to back me. But I don't have anybody else to back me. My mother comes home and says, you know what? Sales cures all. It's easy. When you have orders and you have uh, people who want your goods, you can find financing and maybe different formulas of it. So I'm going to take an ad in the newspaper. She takes the ad in the newspaper. Says something to the effect of $1 million in orders need financing. I thought it was the craziest thing ever to take an ad physically in the newspaper. But... 33 people call that ad. Now, 30 of them were sharks, not like myself, Kevin O'Leary, Robert, and Barbara, and all those uh, individuals. They were loan sharks, 125% interest. I had to live in their attic for collateral and pictures of loved ones in case they got lost. But believe it or not, one was real. One was the $200 billion privately held conglomerate that makes everything from nuclear access to cars. Samsung decided that we knew the market and they knew that we had proven the market already and they had mass manufacturing and they offered us a deal to manufacture and produce our clothes as long as we would go out there and spread the word and do what we did best and they became a strategic partner of ours. It's all about understanding the growth because I can't say my story would have ended out like that and that's why I'm here talking to you so you don't make the same mistakes that I made. Now, while my story turned out for the good, if I had been planning for growth and if I had been working on building my 10X organization, I could have saved myself a lot of scramble and a lot of stress. Okay, let's pause right here for a quick quiz and then I'm going to have a couple of my business experts walk you through some of the critical components of business growth. Just take the quiz before you move on.